Hey, what's up, you guys? I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long. I didn't change my name on YouTube. I then went from making videos where I did talk, and then I switched to making videos where I don't talk. And I feel like I'm a stranger to you guys now, and I've been so inconsistent. And I do want to apologize for that, but I want to know, how are you guys doing today? Today, I'm coming to you guys with a what's in my bag video for my mini Lily carry-all. Now, this bag I hauled sometime last year. I never did a what's in my bag on that video, but I have been carrying this bag lately. So I wanted to show you guys what I have in it. Um, I know I keep saying I'm going to be consistent and then I just don't be consistent, but I'm really trying to get back on my A game. But without further ado, let's just get into the video. Okay, so this is my Mini Lily Carry All. This bag does come in two sizes, the regular size and the mini. I prefer the mini for myself because I don't really carry too many things enough to need the bigger size. So on the sides here, I just have this little puff ball. And then on this side, I just have my pocket back holder and um, hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works in there. And then I have this coach bag charm that I got from the outlet. And the hand sanitizer that I have in here is, hold on, let me try to open this. A Thousand Wishes. Now this bag has several compartments. It has a, a back pocket right here, which I do keep my phone and my phone does fit inside. I feel like every time I do a what's in my bag video, I never have my phone in my bag, but realistically, I never really have it in there anyway. I usually have it in my hand. And as you can see, my phone does fit in the back pocket. And then it does have this compartment right here and this compartment right here. So in this compartment, I just have a roll of receipts that I have to take a picture of and fetch rewards. Are you guys familiar with fetch rewards? Um, I use that app. It's basically just the rewards app where you can literally take a picture of any receipt and you'll get points for it. And if you buy things that qualify for like more points, then eventually the points will accumulate and you could get gift cards for it. So let's say um, I have something that's like like I buy a brand of Scott's tissue and I get a thousand points just for those um, that tissue the t points can accumulate and you can translate those points into gift cards so like 5,000 points would be five dollar gift card um, 10,000 points would be ten dollar gift card and so on and so forth and then you can get a lot of points if you refer people to it and they use your referral code so sometimes they have the event where if, if you refer someone uh, you could get 4,000 points and they can get like 3,000 points. So I'm going to leave my referral code on the screen as well as in the description box below. It's completely free. You don't have to pay for anything. You can delete it if you want to, but just letting you guys know about that. I've gotten plenty of gift cards before. You can get a Visa gift card or you can have one for Sephora or Bath & Body Works or Home Depot. They have so many options on there. And like I said, it's completely free and you just take a picture of a receipt and that's it. And you get points. So... Um, I'm going to leave my information down in the description box. And this is not sponsored, by the way. So in this back pocket here, I just have my Dove Nourishing Body Care. Like, I believe this is a beauty cream. I have my blotting sheet. And my earbuds. Y'all know I can't leave my house without those. Okay, so in this main compartment here, inside here, I just want to show you guys how I have her laid out. So I have this reusable shopping bag. I really like this because you can use it as a shoulder bag. I know sometimes we go to the store, they give us the shopping bags and they, you can only carry them with your hand. But these are convenient because you can carry it on your shoulder, which is much more comfortable than carrying those thin plastic bags on your hand. So I have that in here. Next, I just have my coach quilted wallet. I forget what this is called, but I'll probably just put it on the screen anyway. I really love this wallet. Next, I have this little 
key pouch that I got off of Shein, but I actually use it to carry my inhaler in and I just attach my keys to it as well. And it has like a key ring on the outside as well as a key ring on the inside. Although when I received it, the key ring on the inside was a bit tarnished. So I just replaced mine with one of my coach ones because I don't really use the coach key rings anyway. And then lastly, I just have my Nolita 15 and I put this chain on here that I got from off of Amazon. I wish I would have got one that was a little bit longer because this one is a little bit too short for my liking, but I do still like the chain. And I still have the leather strap attached to it. It's just tucked inside of here. And inside of here, I just have my purse hook these uh, disposable seat covers that I got from off of Shein, um, nail clipper, oh, a mini perfume, some lip gloss, a little pen, a charger cable, some Hoover Reef, Uh, tied to go a lip balm and some Listerine strips and that's it for that and like I said I did have the strap of it inside of the bag so yeah that's something that you want to do if you don't like the strap because the strap can be annoying when you have it in your bag because it's so stiff it's takes up a lot of space whereas the chain it just dangles on the side so it makes it easier to keep in your bag i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye she keep it on and popping oh popping yeah mm. sticking and poppin', yeah. Shawty got me poppin', yeah. Don't get done, oh yeah.